and welcome to my Corrupted Gauntlet Guide. In this guide, I am going to show you how I do the Corrupted Gauntlet in a way that I have found to be very efficient, allowing you more than enough time to not only get two tier 3 weapons, but also a tier 2 chestplate and plate legs, as well as two full potions and 20 plus food, all under 7 minutes. This guide assumes that you already know how the gauntlet works. If you do not, I recommend that you watch a basic gauntlet guide first before taking on the corrupted version. Enjoy! Please note, as the gauntlet is a high level solo PVM challenge, I recommend at least 90 plus combat stats and 70 plus cooking to never burn your pedal fish. For the corrupted gauntlet, and to kill monsters including the final boss in time. Less than that and you will likely struggle with this method. Let us enter the corrupted gauntlet. What I like to do first and foremost is to unequip our scepter as at 90 plus combat stats it is worse DPS than being fully unarmed. Second, aim to collect at least 6 of each resource. No less and no more. Collect them in any order that you find them. When you have 6 of either the Borg or the Ores, drop the Corrupted Axe or the Pickaxe respectively. When you have at least 30 Corrupted Crystals, use your Pestle and Mortar on them 3 times to create 30 Crystal Dust. After this, you can throw your Pestle and Mortar away. You also need to pick up any Grim Leaves that you find. Collect 3 and no more. Kill one of the higher level monsters that you find, such as the Wolf, the Scorpion or the Unicorn. Pick up 1 or 2 weapon frames depending on how many you get from them, but no more. Do not pick up any raw pedal fish from them, only the crystals, the weapon frames up to 2, and the corrupted crystal trapper seeds. If you find you still do not have enough corrupted crystals, kill more high level monsters, preferably with piety and protect from melee. Please note that you will need at least 270 corrupted crystals to end your first trip. We will ignore the demi bosses for now. When going through their rooms, make sure that you have your protect from magic or missiles or melee on. Failing to do so will result in very high damage, as you have just seen from me. Once you have everything, 6 barks, 6 linen, 6 ores, 3 leaves, 1 or 2 weapon frames, 270 plus corrupted crystals and 30 crystal dust, you are ready to end your first trip. Use your teleport crystal to teleport back to the spawn area. Here, head to the crystal bowl and create equipment in the following order. First, your weapon, preferably either a bow or a staff, whichever combat style is your preferred and highest level. Make your weapon tier 2, which will require 80 crystal shards in total. When starting out, do not use a halberd. I only recommend that when you are more experienced with the final boss. Second, your armor, and third, 3 vials, and last, 1 crystal teleport seed. <laughs> In total, this will cost 270 crystal shards. Fill your vials with water, use your herbs on them, and then the crystal dust.
combine them so that you have two full potions. Feel free to drink a sip if you are low on prayer or run energy. I usually find I only need 4 sips for a hollow fight, but for the first time having at least 7 is highly recommended. Once you have everything, you are ready for the second trip. In this trip, your aim is to collect any raw pedal fish you left on the floor, as well as to kill two enemy bosses, which is the Corrupted Dragon, the Corrupted Darvist, and the Corrupted Bear. The Dragon uses Magic Attack style and drops the Corrupted Orb. The Darvist uses Ranged Attack style and drops the Corrupted Bowstring. And the Bear, which at first we don't have to worry about, uses Melee attack style and drops the corrupted spike which are all needed to create our tier 3 weapons If you ended the first trip with one weapon frame, pick up another from a debit boss you killed. If you ended your first trip with two weapon frames, you can leave the extra weapon frames on the floor. You only need two in total for the whole gauntlet. Once your inventory is an orb, bowstring, 200 plus crystals and is filled with raw pedal fish, you are ready to end trip 2. Upgrade your weapons to tier 3 and upgrade your chest plate, plate legs to tier 2. If you have 40 crystals left, make another crystal teleport seed. The third trip. This is the final trip. Your sole focus should be to find fishing spots and to get at least 20 raw paddle fish in total in time. Once you have that, run back or teleport back to the spawn area. With 90 plus combat stats and average spawns, you should still have at least around 20 to 120 seconds left on the timer when finishing your third trip. When back, 12 seconds are more than enough to cook 20 plus raw paddle fish as it has been changed recently to one tick cooking. Cook all of your pedal fish, drop everything beside your food, potions and second weapon and wait for a timer to run out or enter the bathroom manually. the boss fight, you will face the level 894 Corrupted Hunlef. Once in the room, immediately turn on Protect from Missiles. The Hunlef always starts with the ranged attack style. If the Hunlef is playing against range, equip your staff and turn on your strongest magic damage boosting prayers, Augury, and when it is playing against magic, equip your bow and turn on your strongest ranged damage boosting prayers, preferably Rigor if you have it. The Hunlef will change its prayers after every 6 attacks, from you, of course. When this happens, switch to your second attack style. The Hunlef will also change its own attack style after 4 attacks. When this happens, you will see the Hunlef move and signal it. Immediately switch to the opposite protection prayer or risk being hit up to 68. Never walk under the Hunlef when it is about to attack. Doing so will cause it to stomp you, once again capable of dealing up to 68 damage. I made this mistake once in this clip, but got lucky and did not get one hit. The highlighted tiles on the floor will change to yellow, and when they do, you must avoid them at all costs, or they will hit you for high damage, 10 to 20, rapidly. Thanks to our tier 2 armor, this damage is lower, without it, it will be quite a bit higher.
Our tier 2 armor also reduces the damage of the Hanlef when praying the right protection prayers, having a max hit of only 13. When Milo is certainly held, eat up to full and drink a sip if needed, then continue the fight. When low health, focus on eating and dodging the floor and the tornadoes while making sure that you do not go under the Hunlef. That should be your priority and not DPS. When full health or close to full health, once more, put your focus back on DPSing the Hunlef. Over time, the Hunlef will also stamp on the floor, summoning red tornadoes that will follow you. You must never let them reach you or they will deal rapid damage. Just like the floor. This damage, too, is reduced by our tier 2 armor, even if by just a little bit. Still, you should never be hit by either the tornadoes, nor the floor. When the Hunlef reaches around 300 health, the floors will change patterns and will speed up greatly. When you don't have much space, Make sure your clicks are precise and only focus on avoiding the Hunlef, the tornadoes and the floor while eating and nothing else. In this phase, strictly only attack the Hunlef when you're above 30 health. When below 30 health, focus on eating only, just as before, until you're max health. Do this every time you get below 30 health. Less than 30 health, focus on eating and dodging. More than 30 health or near max, preferably. Focus on DPSing and dodging. You can see my mistake there. I could have easily died, but I got lucky. When the Hunlef's head reaches zero, you have won. Congratulations. That was my Corrupted Gauntlet Guide. I hope you guys enjoyed and learned something. This is how I do it and I've done around 170 just like this. I've died around 70 times, but as long as I've done it twice as many times as I died, I'm happy. Good luck on your adventures, and good luck on getting that amazing pet. Or even the blade. Take care guys, and see you in the next video.